wide zone. Uh, yeah, wide zone for me was tough at the high school level. I think I probably didn't do a great job of uh, investing enough time early on with it to be able to major in it and realize really quickly that we were better at other things. Now, the other thing about it that I would specify is wide zone means different things to different people. So at the high school level, we had what I consider inside zone and outside zone. So it was just kind of what I thought was easier to teach and practice. And I felt like pin and pull gave us a little bit better answers versus every kind of exotic boutique bullshit front we would see at the high school level, as opposed to, you know, wide zone, I think is a little bit more, there's a lot more, you have to be a little bit more athletic up front. You've got to be able to kind of sort out problems on the move as opposed to pin and pull where I can say, hey, this is going to be the edge. You know, you're going if this is the look, you're going if this is the look. And and we've got like a, a kind of a, a concrete plan as opposed to wide zone, having a little bit more trust in the technique and the decision making as far as first level, second level, you know, covered, uncovered, you know, what are your rules? How are you getting up to the second level? And then trusting the back to be patient and do what they're supposed to do as opposed to say, hey, there's going to be a wall here, get outside the wall, get one cut, get vertical. Uh, 